Hey, it's Mike with Velocity for another edition of the Tech Corner. We get a lot of calls about what happens if one of my drives dies in a RAID 5. So I did a mock setup today on a 2950. I've got three 146 gig 10K SAS drives set up in a RAID 5. Currently have Windows 2008 R2 installed, and I'm going to show you how to do this through Dell's Open Manage Server Administrator software. I currently have Open Manage up. I'm at the main screen. We're going to navigate to our virtual disk through storage. And at the bottom of that drop down, virtual disk. We currently see our disk is good to go. All three disks are humming along. And now I'm going to set it up as if one of them failed. We now see that our virtual disk is degraded. We had a drive failure, disk 2. So a question we get is how do we replace this and what happens and how simple is it? Well, what you want to do is our failed drive on our left is a TK237 part number drive. So we're going to replace it with the same part number because it has the same firmware on it. We also want to match the specs. If you can't match the part number, you can match the specs. So 15K performance, 146 gig SAS drive. We're going to place it in the exact same spot that our failed drive was, which in our case is ID2. Give it a second to spin up. Now we're going to go back into Open Manage. And we'll see that the new disk that we put in automatically is now rebuilding into the RAID array. Now, to prevent this in the future from having a panic state and only having three drives, we're going to add a little bit of fault tolerance, what's known as a hot spare. So, I'm going to grab another drive of the exact same spec and part number. I'm going to put it in the server. Give that one some time to spin up. Okay, now we can go up here into Open Manage, Connector 0, Enclosure, Physical Disks, and we'll see that ID3, which we just put in, is ready. What we're going to do is assign a global hot spare, Execute, Apparently that time it didn't execute for me. Oh, it did. I'm sorry. So what happens now is if once this is done rebuilding, you're up and running, if any of the drives fail, this global hot spare pops right into place for you, which gives you time to pick up another hot spare to replace that one with, giving you fault tolerance. And that is how RAID 5 works if a drive goes down.